This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome back to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk all about WordPress and today, we will see how you can aggregate RSS, RSS field on your website anywhere by using WP RSS aggregator. So you can add news feed, auto blogging, YouTube video feed and many more feeds on your website automatically. So let's see how you can do it and how you can get RSS feed of a website. For that we will go to plugins and click on add new and search for WP RSS. This one and we will click on install now. After installation click on activate. So this is very easy to use plugin. First you have to add the fee source URL. So if you want to show the post of your website in feeds, you can get your own website feeds URL. So mine will be this one. I'll copy it and paste it here. If you cannot find your RSS feed URL, you can see how do I find an RSS feed URL option here and it will show you four options to get it for any site also for your site also. So I have included my own RSS feed URL and then I will click on next. After that it will show me how it is shown so I can either create a draft page or use this short code to include in any of my pages. So I create a draft page for my feed. I can even include this in my home page also. But let's go on with this and I can preview my page. How the feed page looks like. So it will show me source published on option and my blog. So click on next and you are ready to go. So either you can purchase its pro plan and you can continue with the free plan also. So now one of my RSS feed is shown here and it is active right now. I can even switch on and off here. Next it feed items. So here I will see my items. So these are all my blog posts for now. Let's let me turn it on again. So here after turning it on, you will see an option updated one minute ago next to 15 58 minutes. So after 58 minutes, it will automatically update this feed. Next is templates. So here you cannot edit anything because we have only one template here. You can add multiple templates also. So you can change this to not show publish date or to not show source name and create your own template. For now, let's go on with the default one. Next is tools. So here you can add bulk add sources. So you do not have to add each source one by one you can just put on all the rss feed url and then click on add feeds you can even blacklist the source urls also you can export import the source urls and see the logs whatever is done in this rss aggregator will show here you can see the system info and you can even reset all of the things next is settings so here you have three settings, general, custom pin and advanced. So 
two years in advance you can change certificate path feed request your end so let's leave it to default for now in general setting you can change the update interval to 15 minute or one hour whichever you want you can change unique titles you can even hover on the question mark if you do not understand any of the settings so let's add a different website settings to my feed so for that i have to get the rss url of a different website so if i want to add a new website rss feed for example new setting i can see its rss option the very bottom here below about us so if i click on rss i will see this url so i only need this url to include all of its section fields in my website feeds here so i'll go back to my aggregator and go to my feed source and now click on add new and here i'll put the rss feed that i have copied right now and i can limit it or leave it to default you can if you have any question what limit is you can hover out to the question mark you can see unique titles only you can use guides to remove the duplicate ones and you can use the source info and then you can auto type type this log or it will just generate it automatically and then to publish it i'll click on publish and i'll leave this to default also So now my second feed is also saved. I can see my feed and feed sources. So I have not given it any title for now. I can even give it a title by going on edit and typing here its name like news eighty feeds and click on update. Here I will get the short code also to include it on my website. And now, if I go to my feeds and click on refresh, I will see all the feeds, and it will update automatically. And if a user clicks on it, it will be redirected to News 18 feeds. So they will be shown on this page. So you can get multiple feeds for multiple websites and. to get it on your own website easily using this wp rss aggregator so that's it for this video thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate world press